What's up everybody, KG here, coming at you with a quick and easy tutorial showing you how to swap your crypto assets from one asset to another on Ethereum Fair or ETHF. Ethereum Fair is a new blockchain that is a fork of Ethereum as a result of the Ethereum merge, which gave us a one-to-one -one system state copy. If you'd like to know how to access your free coins, I have a link in the description below, and that video will also show you how to connect to the network. This is gonna be an easy, fast video, so let's jump right into it. Here we are on uniswap.etherfair.org. This is a front end to Uniswap that was built and pushed out by the Ethereum Fair community. I will also drop in the description a link to the official Twitter, which tweeted this out so you can validate and verify for yourself that this is the DEX. So this is like any other DEX you're used to. Go ahead and connect your wallet. If you're using MetaMask, connecting. And if this is your first time connecting to the DEX, your MetaMask may pop up here and ask you to approve, confirm, connect, something to that effect. But make sure you are connected to the Ethereum Fair chain. You can see I have 0.2 ETF, which is the native coin for Ethereum Fair, and I have 100 hex. So what we're going to do is we are going to... We're going to swap some hex. And you, as you can see, I searched for the hex, but the results not found. So what you can do is navigate over to Etherscan. I'm going to search hex. And if you cannot find your token here by searching, simply go to CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, Dex Screener, wherever you normally go. Because all the tokens that were copied over in the system state copy have the same contract address that they do on Ethereum. That's why etherscan.io works for pulling the address. If it was a token that was natively launched on the chain, you will have to go to the ETH Fair block explorer, which I will drop that link in the description below. So go ahead and grab, copy that contract address, head back over, and because I want to swap out of my hex, I'm going to put that address here. This is the first time you're interacting with the token. It, you may have to click it. It may say import. Go ahead and import it. And I'm going to swap out of hex into ether or eth fair, but it just comes up as ether. I'm going to say 50 hex. Give it a moment to fetch the price. And if this is your first time that you're interacting with the token on this Uniswap or this DEX, it is going to ask you to approve the token or give the DEX permission to interact with it. You'll click approve and then it'll ask you to sign for the transaction. I noticed a little bug that it wasn't forcing my MetaMask to pop open. So you may just see a blue number one right here. Don't sit here and spam the button. Click it and see if that blue number one pops up. If it does, click your MetaMask and then it'll show that it will ask for permission to allow the DEX to interact with it, you click allow, and then you'll be it'll process, it'll be successful, then you'll be able to swap. So now that we've imported the token, we have approved the permissions, we will click swap. It'll show us our rate, confirm swap, waiting for confirmation, and you'll see it did it again. It did not pop, make my MetaMask pop up. It just came here with the blue one, so I'm going to click it. Give it a moment. And then click confirm. And then it is pending. So we will give it a moment. We will close and we'll let it pinned. We'll open up MetaMask. If you want to check the status, you can click on it. Click view on block explorer. And it says this transaction is pending confirmation. So it'll take just a moment. Confirmed. So 
reopen our MetaMask, and, and we got confirmed, swapped exactly 50 hex for 0 0.03. Go ahead, expand it out, and you will see that we now have 50 less hex, and we have an increased ETF balance. So that's it. It really is that simple. I will drop all relevant links in the description. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. Please subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. I am here for you on your crypto journey. I want to see you succeed. Remember, always be careful. Always stay skeptical out there in the crypto space. And until next time, peace.